current Boylan Boys assistant coach, Gordy Casper, his game plan for a lot of opponents in his coaching career are going back to the early 90s. But he's never had an opponent as challenging as the one he's battled for the past year and a half. You'd never know it from watching Casper on the Boylan bench at a game a couple weeks ago, but he's been through a journey with colon cancer and started in August of 2020. It was a challenge. We had three trips to the emergency room that were very difficult. Casper went through chemotherapy and radiation treatments. The big moment came two months ago when his tumors were removed. I had the surgery November 3rd. It was a six-hour surgery, um, and the great news out of it is uh, our doctors at University of Wisconsin came back and said, I have no evidence of disease. How serious was the cancer? Uh, we never did find out what stage, and I really uh, compliment my doctor, Dr. Dusty Deming, up at Wisconsin on that. Um, his, his thing was, you just, your job is to show up on time and to be positive. It was serious, um, but we were able to, the best way to put it is that my cancer marker number was 44 at the beginning. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think it's probably bad because uh, when I went through half of my rough chemo, I got it all the way down to three. Um, and he said that was remarkable. What else is remarkable is Casper missed very few games or practices in the brief COVID season last February and March. He wanted to be there for the Titans. It's incredible. Um, and I don't, I don't think people know how long this has gone on. Um, it was before the beginning of last season where he really started uh, treatments and for him to miss two days and still be around us. It's hard to get down on anything that you're going through individually when you got a guy sitting there who's given everything he has to the program despite what he's going through health-wise. McAllister says one thing Casper has always brought to the Titans is toughness. There's a certain way our kids need to play um, with mental and physical toughness. He, he preaches that message to the kids all the time. You know, it just sends a message to persevere, you know. He's, we're working hard out here and he's got his own battle and he still shows up and is here as, as often as he can be. But even the guy who preaches toughness and exhibits toughness needed some words of encouragement to help him deal with cancer. I have worked for uh, Mike Miller and Steve Gores previously, and those two especially have really reached out to me and uh, they flat out giving me pep talks. I can remember Mills giving me a, a pep talk on leaning on sports and using that as a way to, okay, cancer is the opponent. It's not Moline tonight. Uh, we need to figure out what we need to do to beat them, and so it's been great. Casper got another surprising show of support Friday, December 3rd, when all the coaches in the Nick 10 at their games wore T-shirts that read Team Casper on the front. It's really blown me away as to how much uh, people have re reached out to me, uh, my wife Amy and our daughters, to help us out through this. Um, from the T-shirts to the GoFundMe and then to all the meals uh, that the community's brought out. You never know that, wow, so many people, uh, you impacted their life and they want to help back. So that's been neat. And Casper told me he signed up to be part of a case study for some fairly new cancer treatment medicine that he was given, and he hopes what the medical community learned from that study will help people in the future who have cancer. Absolutely, and the best part is he's doing well, right? Yeah, he's doing great. He had one more minor medical procedure yesterday to wrap things up, and he hopes to be back teaching at Riverdale School and back on the boiling bench again very soon. That is fabulous.